Hello guys, this is a quick follow-up video on the Starnet V2 uh, tutorial I posted a few days ago. Uh, many of you in the comments asked if I could compare it with Star Exterminator. So today I just got the trial version of Star Exterminator and I just applied both of these processes, so Starnet V2 and Star Exterminator, on the same image. So quick note before we observe those two and see which one is best. Uh, both of these, as you can see here, um, they were done using these settings, so the main default settings. Uh, for Starnet 2 it was Stride 256, uh, nothing checked. And for Star Exterminator, uh, the AI is version 7 and nothing checked either. So near the end of this video I might add a comparison shot of a linear image, uh, if I can find one really quick, uh, to apply these processes to, maybe it makes a huge difference, we don't know. But for now, uh, using these, settings, these default settings on a non-linear image, uh, we're going to compare which one is best. So let me open up Starnet V2 first. This is the result. Uh, overall, you can see it's very clean. Um, the, there is some bright stars that are still, I mean, that produced artifacts, such as over here on the bottom. We, like at first glance, we have one, two, three, four, uh, five blue artifacts there, one on top here, and a bunch of smaller ones on the bottom left here. Overall, I would say this is very simple to, to clean up with clone stamp, and I think it's a, a really good job. Uh, I do see a, a, let's see in the bottom here, some white dots, but I don't, I'm not sure if this is tarnet or not. But yeah, overall, this is a really clean image, I would say. Now let's open up the star exterminator image. As you can see here, it at first glance it's, it also looks amazing. Uh, on the, if you look at the top, for example, uh, this like this blue, well top or bottom, these blue bright artifacts are way less visible in the star exterminator image. Like they're way way fainter. So I would say star exterminator did a better job at not creating artifacts around bright stars. Uh, but, on the other hand, sadly, uh, I was sad to see that Star Exterminator did produce some weird white dots all over the place uh, that you don't find on the standard version. So, for example, if you zoom in, look over here, there's a bunch of white dots and those are... those will be a pain to remove. So, yeah, uh, if I had to pick one right now, I would say the winner is Starnet V2, especially because Starnet V2 is free. Uh, Star Exterminator is not free, it's almost 60 bucks, I believe. So, as of now, I would prefer Starnet V2. Now, um, you know what, I'll go ahead and find uh, myself an image that is uh, linear and try to apply both processes to the linear image so we can compare. Uh, I really don't want to, to have a final judgment here on non-linear data. So I'll be back in just a while. Okay, so we now do have a comparison with linear files. So let's see what they look like. Um, so let's do Starnet first once again, and then we'll compare with Star Exterminator. Let's analyze what we got here. So Starnet, uh, ooh, Okay, let me make this a bit bigger for you guys. Okay, obviously there's a huge issue here. Uh, inside the core of M42, we have a, a, a weird artifact. Um, well, it's all blown out and it's red, uh, which is strange. The rest of the image, though, looks perfect. I mean, the three bright stars here, obviously, are still here. But beside that, everything looks amazing. <clears throat> So the only issue here is inside the core of M42, which is, I know, blown out, but still. Um, so I, I would guess Starnet would work perfectly fine with any image that's not as bright as M42. But in this case, uh, it did mess up here. Uh, I guess it's because it was just so white and Instagram probably was off the charts in the core of the nebula, which is my fault. I didn't take uh, short exposures for this one, so... Anyway, so yeah, uh, I'm guessing it's still possible to use that with a ma with a mask or you know fix it somehow. But yeah, looks uh, everything looks perfect besides the core here. 
Now let's compare this with the star exterminator image. Ooh, the star exterminator image did not mess up the core. It did remove the three bright stars, which surprises me. But it left once again some uh, some small artifacts. Well, I guess those are stars, but see, like on the top there, it's visible. Oh, and by the way, uh, Star Exterminator was much faster than StarNet in this case. Uh, Star Exterminator took 1 minute and 49 seconds on my Mac, okay? I don't have the fancy uh, graphic card on the Windows, so on the Mac it's always for taking forever to remove stars. But, um, so Star Exterminator took one, 1 minute and 49 seconds, StarNet took, uh, took 5 minutes and 35 seconds, so almost, uh, almost four, times uh, 4 times longer for StarNet here. So props to Star Exterminator for that. But yeah, as you can see here, Star Exterminator did leave a bunch of traces of stars in the background, even though it removed all the bright ones. Interesting. So, like, honestly, what I think right now, like, at, at this very specific moment, is the makers of Star Exterminator and StarNet should combine their brains and work together, because, I mean, there's goods and bads in each. So, yeah, that would be great if you guys could... Uh, <laughs> do a, an ultimate version, like call it, I don't know, net exterminator, or, I don't know, star exterminator net, I don't know, <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so this one, I will have to go, the rosette, I will pick star net, here, I would probably pick star exterminator, even though all these small dots are annoying, but I don't think you would notice them that much, but anyway, um, this was a, a fun comparison, guys, and hopefully this was helpful for you guys because I know you were asking for it. So here, once again, really quick, uh, non-linear, left is StarNet, right is Star Exterminator, and then linear, left is StarNet, and right is Star Exterminator. So yeah, um, tell me in the comments what you guys think. Once again, StarNet is free, which is a good point. Uh, Star Exterminator is not free, and at this point, when I'm comparing this, I don't think I would purchase it. Uh, I mean, StarNet does work good enough for me right now, so I will keep going with StarNet. But yeah. Alright guys, so I'll see you next time, and thanks for